Football in South Korea is huge. The country has produced football superstars known around the world and even co-hosted the World Cup in 2002. But now they're taking things to a whole new level. UN Studio and the team behind the iconic Johan Cruyff Arena in Amsterdam have teamed up to design the new Korean National Football Centre. But this isn't just a stadium, it's a sprawling campus and training centre that pays homage to the history of Korean football and sets the nation up to become a serious force at World Cups to come. Today, South Korea is one of the top football teams in Asia, and its football program has a legacy stretching all the way back to the beginning of the country itself. The Korean Football Association joined FIFA in 1948, just after the Republic of Korea, also known as South Korea, was established. In 1956, the national team played its first home match at the Dongdaemun Stadium. Since then, the team's played at a number of stadiums across the country, rising to become a major player in the world of football. Now, South Korea is positioning itself as a global football destination, and it's going all in. Located 85 kilometers south of Seoul, the new Korean National Football Center will span a sweeping 450 square meters, featuring two new stadiums, a health and resort facility, museum, training fields, a youth hostel, and some retail space. It will be shared by the men's national team, the women's team, and youth teams. The winning master plan was crafted by UN Studio, who collaborated with experts across the world in the midst of the pandemic. We have a particular way of working here in Holland. You could say the collaborative, integral, total way of uh, looking at. You can bring all the intelligence to the tactics of how to play, and that similarly in the way how we design. At the core of the new centre's design is a philosophy called Total Football. Invented by the Dutch in the 70s, it's a strategy where players aren't restricted to just one position on the field. Any player could take over the role of another throughout a match, forcing teams to be creative, agile and to know the game inside out. UN Studios let that philosophy guide its design, creating a holistic approach to football beyond just sport. Health, wellness, science, technology and education are all woven throughout the master plan. At the heart of the centre will be this public plaza that's surrounded by three key pieces of architecture – an indoor stadium, outdoor stadium and a museum. The outdoor stadium will seat up to 1,500 people and is designed to use local natural materials like timber and exposed stone wherever possible. The design of these new stadiums was informed by experts at top international football clubs like this one. Now, in the world of football, the Johan Cruyff Arena is a pretty big deal and UN Studio worked directly with the stadium's team to learn from their decades of experience. Football is like religion. People uh, want to be here. They want to have, share their emotion. These are not uh, just football players anymore. They are heroes. While the stadiums will give superfans a chance to watch some of their favorite players in action, the training fields around the center will help cultivate the next generation of footballers. It's not uncommon for training fields to be discovered by accident or just developed because they're in a convenient location for the team. But these are different. The Korean National Football Center will be home to over a dozen sport field typologies, natural running tracks and an indoor gymnasium. There will be links to medical and treatment centers for the players, but they're not just designed to optimize physical health. There's an emphasis on natural materials, as we said, and green space and vegetation will be incorporated throughout to integrate the center with the surrounding farmland and hills. But it's not all greenery and timber. This is South Korea we're talking about, one of the most technologically advanced countries on Earth. So of course, its newest stadium is gonna be fitted out with cutting edge tech. The facilities will integrate discrete smart tracking features throughout the built environment. There is a lot of technology which is a lot of data-driven things. I mean, uh, the players are monitored in all its aspects. Data are gathered about their health, about the physiology. When they are training, there are camera systems that can follow and analyze the game. So all these things are very important for the trainers nowadays to decide uh, what system to play, what player to put in the team, uh, etc. But technology isn't just a part of the design, it's been crucial to the design process itself. Yes, those are designers viewing their concepts in virtual reality. UN Studio used a software called Spaceform to build a virtual 3D model of the Korean National Football Center. As you can imagine, creating a digital model of an entire football complex takes a lot of rendering power. 
And that's where Unreal Engine by Epic Games comes in. That's right, the same software that powers your favourite video games like Fortnite is also behind next level architectural renders like this one, thanks to its ability to handle such large datasets. Epic Games supported the development of Spaceform with an Epic Mega Grant just over a year ago, which helped to build the proof of concept. Now, the Korea Football Association is able to collaborate with UN Studio and present their designs to the public virtually. Whether they're in Amsterdam, New York or Seoul, stakeholders are able to tour the complex and see the design from every angle, from a VR headset, desktop or mobile device. The most interesting is that you can work with physical built models eh, in architecture because we do that a lot. But then you cannot really go into the model and that is what is the most advantage of uh, the Spaceform platform is that you can really go into the model, you can look around, you can step down, you can walk on the field, you can see other people moving, that's another thing. Spaceform lets teams upload their designs from Rhino 3D, Revit or SketchUp and build a real-time immersive 3D presentation. Things that just aren't possible on paper, like getting a feel for how the sunlight will flow through the structure of a stadium, suddenly become possible. That makes international collaboration and decision-making a whole lot easier, especially when changing travel restrictions and guidance make it close to impossible for everyone to meet together on site. It is fascinating that these design approaches give you also more human-centric approach to the way how you experience the space as a person in, in the space itself. UN Studio has taken the spirit of digital innovation and baked it into its design process, from concept right through to the final product. But the most important component of all is the human element. These stadiums are designed to foster an environment that invites everybody to experience the sport of football in all its glory. South Korea's legacy of football is far from over, and the new National Football Center shows just how serious the country is about its future. It's not just a space for potential world championships, it's a commitment to holistic well-being for athletes and an investment in the future of football. This video was made possible by Epic Games. You can find out more about how they're taking digital collaboration to the next level at the link below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and you want to get more from the definitive video channel for construction, subscribe to the B1M.